Okay, so this is a really crucial point. Varying the attack time makes a massive difference to the overall result. Why? Well, the loudest bit of the drums is the kick drum. So if what I do is to drop the attack time to zero, effectively the transient of the kick drum, the initial spike in volume, is immediately going to trigger the compressor to duck its volume. If what I do is to set a longer attack time, the beginning of the kick drum can happen before the compressor responds. And we can see that in the waveform display that's happening above. When I drop the attack time, we'll see an immediate rapid drop in volume, which then recovers. Whereas if I increase the attack time, the initial part of the, um, the response of the compressor will be less extreme. And you can see and hear that. So even with an attack time of literally sort of 40 or so milliseconds, the volume difference is an additional 2 dB. In other words, if I turn the attack time all the way down and we get an immediate response and therefore an immediate compression, we're losing four decibels of volume. And if I increase it only by 40 or so milliseconds, really not very long, we're only losing two or so dB of volume. So that's a really big difference. 